Hey there, Libra Scorpio. Welcome to your freaking reading. So today we're going to talk about new love. We are going to take a look at their personality, who is coming forward, when they are, how you meet, how the relationship will be, and all that jazz. So uh, definitely don't forget to subscribe and to smash like button if you haven't already. Uh, and if you enjoy this type of reading, if you're interested in diving a little deeper, there is going to be a link down below for a private one. And don't forget to check the cusp survey below for me to gain a little bit more information about you. I would really appreciate it if you would if you would go check it out and fill that form for me. And yeah, so let's see here. We're going to start with some little traits. Take has many resonate, has many feel right, okay? And leave the ones that don't. So let's see here, what do we have for my Libra Scorpios? All right, there we go. So you could be dealing with another Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. We also have Cancer. Oh, look at that, a lot of signs. Cancer and Leo, maybe a Cancer Leo cusp. Um, but straight away, one thing that I'm getting is that I feel like this person, I feel like they are very full. The only element that we don't have here is the earthy one. And so what I get with that is that I actually feel like uh, they may be very spiritual. They may be very um, connected with their like soul, connected with their body. Maybe not their body necessarily. I feel like sometimes they may neglect their body a little bit. They may be a little bit of a workaholic and they may lack a little bit of groundedness, but they have really high dreams. They have really high hopes. They love to like fantasize about the future. I also feel like they are very like sweet and caring while being passionate and intense. But especially with having here Cancer, which is the ruler of the fourth house, and Libra, uh, the ruler of the seventh house, and um, ruled by Venus, the planet of love, the seventh house is about partnerships, about uh, relationships, fourth house is about home and family. So I definitely feel like this person is like, they really love love. <laughs> they really love commitment. They really love relationships. And I do feel like sometimes they may... Um, I, I do feel like they are a little bit jealous. That is something that is coming through. And sometimes they may want a little bit too much attention, <laughs> I feel. But it's it's coming from sweetness. It's no, you know, it's not, it's not like, um, I don't know, it's not childish or anything like that. I actually feel like that could have been something that they struggle with uh, during their childhood was that I don't think that they got a lot of love. I don't think they got a lot of attention. Um, at least not from um, like friends or new people that you know they would create a relationship with uh, because I actually feel like when it comes to their home um, I feel like they were pretty loved I do think that when it comes to love maybe they weren't really lucky when it comes to that I do feel like there's something here about friendships as well and I feel like they were surrounded by toxic friendships as they were growing up. And so now it's just like, it's almost like they're trying to compensate the love that they didn't receive in the past, you know? But um, yeah, let's see where we go with that. Let's see what else we have for you. We do have independent. So I really feel like they, and this artist card keeps showing up over and over again. So they may actually be an artist where they could just be very creative, but they could be an independent, um, independent worker. They could be self-employed, um, particularly an artist. But I definitely feel like they, when it comes to their career, they take it very seriously. It's like no one can hold them back. They know what they want. They're going to get it. And they, they don't hesitate a thing. You know, it's like, I feel like that is where all the earth energy is, is on. It's like it's career. It's like, I see it. I'm going to go get it. And then they kind of forget about their body. They kind of forget about the earthy um, nature side of them. Their body resting, food, you know. Sometimes they may even forget to eat or something like that. Uh, or they may go towards like easy, fast, um, fast food, you know. Not necessarily fast food, but like fast food. <laughs> cook that, food that is like really easy to cook and quick to cook. My God, my words. Um just so they don't waste a lot of time, you know? Uh, but let's see here what else we have. We have parties and friends. Ooh, okay. What else do we have here? Okay, so we do have flirty, definitely that Leo. 
energy coming through. We also have children and honesty and loyalty. So there's again that thing of children, of childhood. I really feel like um, the way they act and some things that they react to, especially when you have arguments in the future, because um, I mean, that's part of a healthy relationship is arguments, sorry. <laughs> but I definitely feel like um, some of the things that they may react to, some of the things that may hurt them and trigger them when you're arguing with one another could be things from childhood, could be things that they haven't totally healed yet. And I do feel like it comes from that. Um, I do feel like it's not that they're a player. I actually don't think that they are. But because um, I also feel like their confidence it's probably something that is only happening now. It's probably something that they only feel now. And so this thing of like parties and friends, uh, I mean, they could just be in the kind of time frame to enjoy that, right? <laughs> but it's like, I feel like part of them kind of is, is a little bit compensating for what they didn't have during their childhood. Because I do feel like they were very staying at home kind of child, you know? They wouldn't go out a lot because again, I don't think they had a lot of friendships. Um, or the ones that they did were really toxic and they were really loyal to those friends and I feel like they were loyal to their friends now but at the time they weren't healthy and so now they're trying to just live life and have fun and enjoy all the beautiful things that they can create and and experience while they are at it you know and that could include like flirting with people I don't think that they are very like um I don't know, like casual kind of person. Uh, I feel like it's just like the flirt. I feel like they like the flirt. I feel like they like the teasing. And then say like, yeah, well, sorry, you're not gonna get it, <laughs> you know? I feel like that is the type of person, especially with this 10 of pentacles. They like honesty and loyalty. They're really committed oriented. Um, and this actually says wealth. So I do feel like they're very um, financially independent and very, very um, like committed to their career. That is for sure. And it's like they really want to build a family here. We do have this nine of pentacles. So again, I feel like they're confident now. I feel like if you would ask them or if you would see them a couple of years ago, that probably wouldn't be them. I feel like they were really insecure and they were really like um, afraid of their potential. I feel like they were afraid of their beauty. I feel like they, were, they didn't see their beauty at all. Um, or they thought it, it wasn't like, it wasn't the standard, you know? But now I really feel like they're confident in themselves and they love who they are. And I feel like they are, um, they're very like, for some people they may seem a little bit intimidating, um, but I just feel like they are enjoying their best life, quite honestly. I feel like they're having fun. And like it's, like, it's almost like they don't want to lose a single second that this life has to give because I really feel like they, um, they love it, especially, yeah, King of Wands here, Four of Pentacles with power, and we also have Ten of Cups with um, satiety, if that is how it says, I don't know, but uh, I do feel like there's this thing of like, I want a freaking commitment, and I do feel like they're very passionate, I feel like you, you won't be able to complain when it comes to that thing, but it's like their whole being wants a commitment, they are not here to just play around. Again, they're very, very flirty. And so they may even seem like a player to you uh, when you first meet them. But it's just like, it's not them. They're not a player at all. They're someone that has their really strong values, that has really core uh, beliefs, especially with that, again, that Libra uh, seventh house and the fourth house of Cancer. It's like all they want is that stability. All they want is really that that person they, they can hold and they don't want to, um, it's like they're going to do their best to satisfy them. They're going to do their best to make sure that that person, in this case, which is you, right? Um, that you're receiving enough and that you're receiving everything that you deserve, you know? And I also feel like they um, are very serious when it comes to their family in the sense that it's like they take it very seriously. Whatever they, whenever someone is struggling, they're gonna be there for them, you know? They really want to build a strong like foundation when it comes to family, when it comes to building their own um, family, but also when it comes to their family, their parents, their siblings, whatever it is, 
It's like whenever someone is struggling, they're going to be there for them because they have a really strong bond, I feel. And I really feel like there's this like safe space. That is what they want to create. It's like this safe space for you, for eventually your kids. And it's like they just want everyone to feel okay. Because again, that is where I feel like they would feel safe during their childhood, would be their home, would be their family. And they want to replicate that in their own family. Um, and yeah, I also feel like they like to do it outdoors. <laughs> that is also something that is coming through. So be ready. <laughs> Even though I don't think that they, they would never do or force you to do something that you don't want to do. So there's that. But we do have this hanged man energy here beautiful on how the relationship will be we also have leo energy here again which is actually the the ruler of the fifth house which is about sex so yeah i do feel like they're very um fun to be around with and i feel like they are very passionate again um but i also feel like they're just like they like to make people feel good they like to make people feel welcomed and i feel like they are really good at throwing parties actually by the way um so you should leave the planning to them <laughs> uh, or at least like the the part of the party what they have to entertain people i feel like they're great at that um but with this hanged man on how the relationship will be i feel like you will change things um your perspective on relationships a little bit i do feel like a lot of things may be healed um from your side i feel like it's around relationships from their side i feel like it's around love when it comes to other people and around um, confidence in, and not confidence, trust. I feel like it's around trust. Because they would played and because they, they, they had a lot of toxic friendships in the past and everything, um, I feel like now their trust is like, I trust myself, but I cannot trust someone else. And I feel like you're going to change that a little bit for them. That is really interesting. And for you, I feel like they're really going to give you a different perspective on love, a different perspective on relationships. Maybe you were quite hurt in the past and this person is really here to say, hey, dude, I love you. Yeah, purity, uh, cheerfulness and innocence. So I really feel like this person, it's like they just want to make you feel good. I absolutely love that because I really feel like they are just like, so caring and so kind and i also feel like they're going to get along really well with your children i do feel like children is involved here so this may be a really long-term relationship i mean 10 pentacles and 10 cups um but i definitely feel like they're going to be an amazing parent and i, I actually feel like that is something that they really want they really want children so you may actually have children really early in the relationship if you agree with that, obviously, but that is a wish that they have. I would even say that uh, I feel like they're the type of person that if I don't get uh, into a relationship with someone, I'm going to freaking adopt a, a kid. You know, I feel like they, they just, they want to be parents so bad that they are not going to wait around for, uh, be, for being in a relationship, in a committed relationship so they can have kids. You know, so if like um, you don't show up eventually, you may actually catch them in the process of an adoption uh, thing, you know. Uh, but I definitely feel like we have expressed your love. Man, this person is just like so sweet. And I really feel like they want to give you their whole heart. I would even say that they may put your needs and your family's needs uh, first before theirs. Because I feel like that's how much they love someone and that's how much they, um, they want to everyone to feel safe, you know? I also feel like they play around a lot. And that's why I feel like they're going to get along so well with your kids, it's just because uh, maybe you already have kids, and that's why this whole kids thing is really important. Um, but I feel like they play around, and that's why I feel like your kids are going to love them so much. It's because, like, 
they're going to be the fun parent, you know, that, not that you're going to be the, the bad one, but, or like bad cop, good cop, right? But it, it's like, just like, I feel like they're going to be, they take family really seriously, but they don't take themselves seriously, except when it comes to career, that is for sure. But they don't take themselves seriously, so they don't mind like being stupid. <laughs> they don't mind like making bad jokes. They don't mind like making a fool of themselves and just having fun because I feel like they know that that deepens their bond with their kids and that creates a, a safer space for them. I do feel like their childhood, their home childhood was um, really funny and, and joyful. I feel like they laughed a lot at home, not at school or, you know, with other people other than their family, unfortunately. But yeah, so how you'll meet, we have the three of wands. Let's see here. We have, this is definitely someone that you have been manifesting, by the way. We have the four of swords. You may actually meet at a hospital or like some sort of uh, health center, something like that. Not necessarily that you're gonna get sick or something like that. It could just be like a routine checkup and they're actually there and you start a conversation or something like that. Um, but I definitely feel like there's something here around like, uh, or it could also be on vacation. There's something here about like resetting your health. And I feel like that is more for them than for you. Maybe you're just on vacation because you deserve a vacation. I feel like they are on vacation because they may be um, at a point of a burnout at that point. And so um, I definitely feel like you're going to meet something around those lines. It's like when you're resting, when you're uh, needing a rest, when they are needing a rest, but possibly you too, uh, I feel like that's when you'll need. And then we also have here the empty cottage. I also feel like you may be at a point where you're a little bit blocked when it comes to love. And I feel like this person is going to show up exactly then. <laughs> exactly when you're like, you know what? I'm single, I'm okay with this. I don't care about love. This person shows up and it's like, uh, excuse me, I'm here, <laughs> you know? And I feel like your whole life may change a little bit because of it. Um, and again, I feel like when you meet, you're going to be a little bit like with, a little bit like, mm, back off please, because I do feel like they're gonna be quite flirty. And so you're gonna be like, uh, honey, what do you want, you know? But I definitely feel like they have like, they, they all have, they, they have all good intentions towards you. And this is definitely someone that you have been manifesting. And I do feel like if it is on a vacation, it could be like across the sea or um, were you, oh no, okay. So it was Libra that caught the beach. <laughs> that, would, that would make a lot of sense. But uh, maybe check out Libra's reading. But I definitely feel like it could be like across the seas or, or something like that, another city, another continent, something like that. And I definitely feel like you're going to be having the time of a life. This person is going to be a little bit frustrated, I feel, for having to rest. But I do feel like they're gonna be having a lot of fun as well. And I actually feel like you're going to make their vacation a little bit better. If this isn't that, if it's the situation of like the healthcare or a hospital or something like that, it's almost like um, they could have, you could have been, been going there for checkup and they were there for it because they were um, feeling something, they weren't feeling that well, and it's like they see you. I know this sounds really cliche and, you know, cheesy, but it's like they see you and they're like, uh, why am I here? <laughs> you know, they may even, like, go up to you and be like, hey, do you want to grab a coffee? And they are, like, going to be up next for the, the, um, for their appointment with the doctor or something like that, because I feel like they, they're going to be so, like, caught up on you that they're going to just forget about their health like they always do, I feel, um, and just want to run away from that. I do feel like they hate hospitals. I do feel like they hate going to the doctor. That is not something that they enjoy. Um, so yeah, I do feel like, especially with this empty cottage, I don't think that you're going to be like at home. So I do feel like that thing of the, the health care or hospital is going to be for a very specific few of you. I do feel like for most of you, there's something here around vacation where you're not at home. You're not like on your, um, in your city or something like that. Or maybe they are not in your city and they actually went to your city to visit you. But I don't think that there's um, a lot of distance here, actually. 
So it may be like a fun encounter of like, um, it's like you're from the same city, you never really saw each other. And only when you're on the other side of the world, you actually meet and you're from the same city. You know, it could be something like that. Like that. But uh, I do feel like it's going to be like, oh, you're from the same place as I am. And it's going to be the beginning of a beautiful relationship. So let's see here's some timing. If you want to dive a little deeper into this, there is going to be a link down below for a private reading. All right. Wow, we have a lot of timing. God damn. So we do have next month. We, oh, come here. We also have in a few years. I feel like that is talking about the kids, actually. Not right now. We also have summer. Um, in a couple of months. So I do feel like there could be like two groups of you where um, maybe, you know, for those that they're going to meet them at a hospital or healthcare, it could be uh, at a certain time frame. For those of you that are going to meet them on vacation or something, it could be at another time frame. So for example, the health hospital thing, it could be like next month in a couple of months, and the vacation could actually be like during summer or something like that. Uh, we do also have autumn here. And coming slowly. I do feel like you're going to take your time with this. You know, I don't think that it's going to, um, I don't think you're going to allow it to evolve really fast, you know, because I do feel like you're going to be a little bit suspicious about this, uh, especially because I do feel like they're coming in with a lot of passion, a lot of um, flirty energy. But I feel like that's just who they are, you know, but they are actually really, uh, a co really committed person. And I feel like they really love love. So, yeah, I do feel like kids, it's like for them, you would have kids like the first day you meet, but I do feel like it's a little bit later on the line. Um, but yeah, so you have a lot of timing to choose from. <laughs> I hope this resonated. hope it helped. Uh, this is what I have for you. I hope um, you're excited for this. Don't forget to smash like button and to subscribe if you haven't already and to check that cusp survey. Uh, the link is going to be down below. I would really appreciate it if you could go fill it out. And that is it. So I wish you the freaking best. I love you very much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.